A missing letter provides a clue to the survival of the Jewish people. In Parashat Toldot, we read how Jacob deceived his father Isaac into thinking that he was his twin brother Esau. Isaac declared, Hakol kol Yaakov v'hayadayim yedei Esav. The voice is the voice of Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. From here, the Midrash teaches, as long as the voice of Jacob is heard, in houses of prayer and halls of study, the hands of Esau will not be able to destroy the Jewish people. Now, many of our commentators ask, how does the Midrash derive this lesson from our verse? After all, Isaac exclaimed, Hakol kol Yaakov. The voice is the voice of Jacob, indicating that the voice was heard. Vahayadayimide Esav, and the hands are the hands of Esau, showing that his hands were there, and they were powerful. The Vilna Gaon explains brilliantly that it has everything to do with male v'chaser. What is male v'chaser? The term literally means complete and incomplete, and it refers to a phenomenon that we sometimes see in the Torah within which some of the words are missing a vowel, and on each and every occasion, ze omer dorsheni, the word cries out for an explanation. I cannot think of a better example of this than in the verse that we have quoted. Hakol kol Yaakov, the word kol is mentioned twice. On the first occasion, the kol, the voice, it's spelled kuflamid, which is chaser, it's missing the vav. On the second occasion, just one word later, it's kuf vav lamid, which is male. It has got the vav in the middle of the word. Says the Vilna Gaon, we can now understand the Midrash, because the first word kol is missing a vav, indicating that something's absent. The voice is not as loud as it might have been. Kol has become kal, kal meaning light. The power of the voice has gone, and it is in such circumstances, God forbid, that Hayadaim Yede Esav, the hands of Esau, can be powerful. What emerges from here is a very powerful lesson for the Jewish people, a timeless message. Time and again, we have needed to fight for our very survival on the battlefield. But in addition to doing that, there is another source of great Jewish strength. It lies in the Kol Yaakov, the sound of Jacob, our voices in our shuls, in our halls of study, the authentic Jewish voice of tradition. The more it is heard, the stronger we as a nation are. The better our Jewish education, the more we have a capacity to guarantee our survival. Yes, indeed, a missing letter of the Torah provides us with the key to Jewish survival. Shabbat Shalom.